Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures. So a couple of weeks ago we found this. Yeah. It is a genuine cast iron skillet. Yeah. As you can tell, it is gross, rusty, dirty, nasty, 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 nasty. So today we are going to show you how we are going to restore this and then once it is back to normal we are going to season it so we can cook with it. So stick around and we will show you how. So there are multiple ways of restoring your cast iron skillet. Everything from just sticking it in some water and some baking soda and hooking a battery up to it all the way to just sticking it into a fire and burning the rust off. But today we are going to try the vinegar method. So we are going to put it in a bucket with some vinegar and let, let it sit for about, about an hour at a time, taking it out and then we are going to scrub it with our awesome Brillo pads. These work really well. Um, I restored a 50s table and used this to get the rust off and it worked really well. So maybe it will get the rust off of that cast iron skillet. So here we go. So we have our bucket and our cast iron skillet placed flat and now we're getting ready to add the vinegar. So we're going to let this sit for an hour and then we will come back and see how much rust has come off of it. No, no, honey, I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home. All right, so it's been an hour. And some of the rust has come off of it and some of the dirt. I mean, you can see the water. It's a little bit orange looking. So we're going to rinse it off with some vinegar and then we're going to get the Brillo pad and scrub it. soak in vinegar for about 24 hours now um was not expecting all this uh orangey gross foam but I'm getting ready to pull it out and look at it and see how well it's done wow <laughs> it has it has gotten a good chunk of the rust off from just sitting 24 hours in here. But uh, there's still some scrubbing to do, which is all good. So let's get to scrubbing. second and I'm going to run some water in it because I keep dumping it or I'm um, trying to rinse it off in the dirty uh, vinegar water so I'm just going to give it a good rinse and just see the progress we have made so far all right so as you can tell the inside has come along nicely handles come along nicely the back is done really well the sides have gotten the majority of the rust off so we're going to keep scrubbing a little bit more see if we can't get anything else off of it. So as you can see the inside is a lot cleaner. Um, there's still some rust around the edges but um, got the handle pretty good. The back's alright. Around the edges is alright. So I'm going to dump out some of this gross water and add some more vinegar and I'm going to let it sit for a bit and then scrub it 
and then let it sit overnight and check it tomorrow. Hopefully it will be rust free so we can season it tomorrow. So it is day four of restoring this cast iron skillet. Yesterday, um, after I finished scrubbing out all of the rust, we took a look at it and there was still some more rust in it, so we decided to burn it. Um, we put it in the oven on cleaning mode, which makes the oven get hotter than it normally does at 600 degrees. So we stuck it in there for about three and a half hours and it got the rest of that rust and grime out of it. Then we put a little bit of olive oil in it and um, I let it soak overnight and throughout the day. So today we are going to finish seasoning it. So let's get started on that. Okay, so we're going to set our oven on bake at 300. So while this is heating up, we're going to put the oil on our cast iron skillet. So you just want to put some oil in the center. And you're going to want to smooth it all around like so. You want to make sure you get the handle as well with the oil. Now I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe out the excess oil. So the trick is you want to get it oily but you don't want to leave the oil in it because when you put it in the oven you have to put it face down so you don't want the oil to drip out of it and this process should only take two to four times um, if you go over four times then um, you didn't season your skillet properly. So you want to flip it over. Do the back of it. All right. so it is ready to go in the oven when the oven is ready. So a couple of things while we're waiting for our oven to heat up. If for some reason you mess up seasoning your cast iron skillet when you uh, leave too much oil in there and you flip it over in the oven and you bring it out and it has little black dots around the, the edge of it you can just take um, some sandpaper and sand it down or you can put it in your oven on the self-cleaning mode that we did and leave it in there and let everything burn out. Also, don't let the color fool you. Um, the reason why it is already black is because we burnt it in the oven yesterday. So it got, you know, kind of already dark. Um, but it still has that reddish color to it. You want to make sure your skillet is black. That lets you know that it is ready and seasoned. All right, so the oven is ready. I've got the light on so I can see. Just want to flip it over like this. Place it in there. Let's we'll see what it looks like in an hour. And she got me. So it took about three hours for our skillet to get seasoned, which means it was in the oven about three times. So check it out. It's all nice and dark, clean, ready to be used. So here is a picture before. And here is a picture after. So this was an awesome experience bringing this cast iron skillet back to life. Um, we plan on doing a lot more um, restorations in the future. We have a whole bunch of rusty and gross tools that we can bring back to life. So hopefully we can use this same process minus the burning in the oven. But maybe we can use that vinegar and Brillo pad uh, technique to bring those back to life. So I hope you enjoyed this restoration of our cast iron skillet. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Did you enjoy that Waller Adventures video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post more videos. Also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.